What's going on everyone? My name is Roscoe and we are back. Yay! Hopped on Twitter and he basically tweeted out the whole entire Yeezy sneaker release schedule for 2020. But really, he kind of just gave us a slight flex because when he tweeted the photo out, he said, this is what a 1.5 billion dollar plan looks like what basically they're saying the amount of sales volume for 2020 that they're projecting is 1.5 billion wow i mean yeezy was has only been around since 2015 wow man it's just great to see the yeezy community is growing i just see a lot of people super excited about yeezy sneakers just like me man i got you covered here on my channel for all things yeezy related this list that he ended up tweeting out has changed. Because if you look at the bottom, it's dated 7-10-2020. This list was as of July 10th. You know, I'm looking at it, some shoes have been taken off, some shoes have been added. Now I'm looking at it, it's Q3, Q4, which is fall and winter of this year. So let's just break it all down and go through each of the sneakers and some that I am super excited for. So without further ado, let's dive in. All right, so I had this pulled up on my computer screen. I'm gonna start with Q3 and then move to Q4, which is all of the new releases. So fall and winter of this year. Did see one thing that was interesting for Q2, the Alva 700 V3s. They have them here scheduled twice. They have them scheduled in April and they have them scheduled in May. Thought that was kind of interesting. You know, I think they only released them once and it was worldwide. Maybe they had plans to do a restock a month later or they were gonna release them early here in the US and then again later on, maybe in Asia or EU. And then also too, August. August was interesting because they have two pairs of foam runners supposed to release. All the foam runners that were scheduled on this list have been taken off. I believe we're only gonna be getting one pair of foam runners for the rest of the year. I think what's going on in the world and how these foam runners are made in the USA, I think they had to go back and change it around. I think they're able to make as many this year. I think we're gonna get one new one, but man, they had a lot planned for this new foam runner. So I would just say, you know, I'm a little bit bummed out we're not getting all these colors of foam runners. We're gonna get them in 2021, trust me. Ye has been talking about it a lot especially on his Nick Cannon class that he just did. I think we're gonna get a lot of pairs of foam runners in 2021. That's just the way 2020 has been. But I noticed in August, we were gonna get the Ararat restock. So if you do have a pair of Ararats, might wanna be you know a little bit cautious. They are not afraid to restock anything. And then we're gonna get a gold. <laughs> Is this a gold foam runner? The shape, the design looks different. Maybe I'm looking into it too much. Maybe it was gonna be a different version. I don't know, but a gold? That would have been interesting for sure. All right, now let's move into September. Now, what I thought was interesting about September is the Yeezy slides. It looks like we are not getting any more new colorways for the rest of 2020. Now, they have three new colorways scheduled on here, but we only got two. We only got soot and core. Looks like there was gonna be a third colorway. Bone colorway isn't there. The bone is in April, you can see it's white. A Little bit disappointing that we didn't get another third colorway. Maybe we might get that later on, I don't know. And then if you look down the rest of September, we know the Azuril 350 V2 had been pushed back. That shoe's gonna be releasing in October. And then the Alphenom, the new Yeezy Quantum colorway, that also got pushed back to October. So let's move on to October now. Now October, they had the Abez 350 V2, which is going to be that white, cream, yellow. That one is scheduled to be dropping. They also have the new Calcite 380. That looks like it's gonna be dropping around Halloween. And then also they had two foam runners scheduled. They had a gray, blue, Foam runner going to be dropping. What? I hopefully that colorway still comes out. That colorway is fire. Hopefully that one just got pushed back to 2021. We'll have to wait and find out, but it was going to release. Ah, that sucks. October is going to look like the Abez, Calcite, then the Azrael's, and the new Aphenom Quantum sneakers. So that is what's gonna be dropping. Now let's move on to November. Now November and December are stacked. Now this is the two months you wanna be holding on to your wallet. November looks to be a good month. We have the Onyx 380s. That's gonna be dropping in reflective and non-reflective. That is rumored to be the Black Friday release. We also have the new Yacher 350 V2, which is okay. It's not my favorite colorway, but it's dropping. And then you have the Seraphim 
700 v3 also what they added is the restock of the utility black 500s solid month definitely going for the onyx 380s and the sierra from 700 v3s i need all colorways of the 700 v3 that shoe is fire definitely a great month little bit kind of disappointed on that yacher 350 v2 i think sometimes they look awful online and then once you get them in hand you know, you can definitely change your mind. I'm holding out on the Yachers, but for me, the must have has to be the Onyx Reflective in the Seraphim. Must have. Now let's move into December. December is what? How many? One, two, 14. They had 14 pairs of Yeezy sneakers scheduled. Did they actually think we we're gonna buy all these? Like, how? Super excited because there's some dope sneakers dropping. You have the Olydia. 350 V2, which to me, probably the weakest release for Yeezy so far. I'm not too crazy on that one. That kind of looks like earth and clay mashed together. Feels like a forced colorway for the 350 V2. Now let's get into the 380s because there's a lot of confusion going on on these 380s. These 380s are going to be region locked. So they're all not gonna be dropping in the US, unfortunately. So we'll find out once we get closer what region is getting what, but they will be region locked. First one I see is highlight. That is that single 380 on the top. That one is going to glow in the dark completely. So the whole upper will glow. So I'm thinking that's going to be like the reflective version of this 380 in a sense. So there's gonna be one that glows completely. And then the full family version probably won't glow crazy like that whole thing glows completely looks like it's gonna be two versions so there'll be a glow and a non-glow non-glow looks to be coming out in full family sizing so you have laminite which is basically the mauve colorway of this 380 i actually kind of like this one i like the mauves so i don't mind it in this 380 it has a nice kind of bright neon yellow uh, translucent stripe on the shoe. That one to me, I like the most between the two. Azura is kind of like, just looks like Yacher, but it's on a 380. I think it's a little bit too soon for that one. It's gonna be coming out in reflective and non-reflective. So there's gonna be two versions for each. To me though, Laminite is the one that I really want between the two. So all gonna be region locked. I don't know what region is what, but we'll find out very soon. Now the big release probably for the month, everyone's gonna be going for is the Bread 350 V2 restock. It's gonna be restocking in full family sizing and it's gonna be dropping worldwide. Something that you definitely have to be excited for. Looks to be dropping on December 5th. And then also there's another zebra restock. A lot of people were cracking jokes on this one. So the zebras are getting restocked once again but it's for our folks out in the EU. I think it's still a must cop. Love the zebras. I don't mind them. Keep restocking it. Now let's move to the end of December, which is right around Christmas. We're getting a new colorway of the 700 V3. A lot of people thought this was a 700 V3 Alva restock. It's not. It's the new Edomite colorway. Now it's very similar to the Alvas. However, on the filter on the side, is going to be a brown copper color. <sighs> Again, must have. I would expect these to be relatively limited. Looks like it's not gonna be dropping in full family sizing, but I think this one's fire, man. I'll take this Edomite because I've seen so many triple black Yeezy sneakers. Like, I don't mind the Elvis. I think the Elvis are fire, but I like how these are black, but there's a little bit of a different touch to it. This one, certainly, I am going for 1,000%. We also got two versions of this new Quantum sneaker. It's gonna be coming out in that same blue as the Azerith 700 V3s. There's two versions of it. I think we might only get one. It looks like they probably had a lifestyle in a performance basketball version set to release. I think we'll probably just end up getting one. We've seen this one already too. Ye leaked it a while ago. That's again, keeps my fingers crossed on that yellow 700 Wave Runner. Now, we got an image. We got a little Photoshop image of the new 450 sneaker. This one looks wild and I'm certainly excited for it. But unfortunately, it got pushed back to February 2021. So that one will not be releasing here this year. Cannot wait to check these out. Hey, they, they had them scheduled. They had them scheduled to come out. But again, just 2020 sucks. And then the last release of here on this list is the 450 slide. Now this has been confirmed. We're gonna be getting these in December. It kinda has that nice webbing on the toe, on the upper of the shoe, of the slide, whatever you wanna say. Definitely want it. Now I don't know the color is gonna be. It looks on here, the color is like a tan brown. Been a really good year. We got a couple new sneakers 
from Yeezy. You know, we got the new Quantum shoe. We got the new foam runners. They made a ton of new colorways of the 700 V3s. The 350 V2 colorways were better this year. The MNVNs dropped this year. I forgot about that already. There's been so many sneakers dropping. I want to hear from you guys down in the comments. What do you guys think of 2020 Yeezy? That is my video for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. And like always, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.